Good afternoon and welcome to day four, May 11th, 2018 of Cantastic Five. We're live here at the uh, Cannes Film Festival, 71st edition, and we're here with Mr. Pavel Rabetsky of Cinezen. Uh, he's going to talk to us today about a very exciting new movement in uh, independent uh, filmmaking called blockchain technology and how to get your film. Uh, well, I'm just going to let him talk about it since I'm a, a, a neophyte at it myself. So welcome, Pavel. Um, tell us, I'm an independent filmmaker, it's my first time to make a movie and I want to in, uh, get into this world of trying to control my content from the time I think about it all the way through distribution and cut out the middleman. How can I use the technology that's available to me today through blockchain um, in accessing uh, the best revenue stream for myself without any middleman? Yes, thank you Kevin, Kevin for introduction. Uh, I'm from Citizen Blockchain Entertainment and we are actually building a blockchain-based video-on-demand uh, platform, uh, like a marketplace. So we, what we are trying to do is we are trying to generate the new revenue flows for producers and content creators and rights holders uh, that uh, they currently missing. Uh, by leveraging this new blockchain technology, so so let me stop you there because you know a lot of times you know we, we, we use you're using words and terms that a lot of people don't understand. What is blockchain? Yes, uh, yeah, I understand that uh, many of those uh, who work in the film industry might not be very familiar. So, uh, if we put it in a very sim simple way, uh, blockchain is a is a technology. It's a distributed network of computers where all the information is, is duplicated in all the computers so everyone has a, a, the exact same uh, like vision of the information that flows through the network so it's actually like everyone see the same data and no one actually controls. So there's no way you can cheat the system because yes. it, it's a decentralized way of verifying transactions exactly. and, and finding out that when I put something out there it's verified by the world. No yes. central person or entity can tell me that that's what it is and you got to accept it, yeah, correct? You, you got it exactly. Basically, exactly. I'm just trying to understand the layman's terms. Yes. So let's say, as, as we were discussing, uh, I'm a content creator. I just made my movie. I don't want to go to a traditional distributor because I don't know what they're going to do with when it comes down to the contracts of how much I'm going to get paid, when I'm going to get paid, what they're, how they're going to gross up their expenses when they take the film to the markets. I, I don't know any of that stuff. So it's my, it's my first time and I want to utilize this. How do I take my movie and put it on your platform so that I can maximize my revenue? So basically, as soon as you produce the movie, you can come to us and say, hey guys, I want your platform to take care of delivering this movie to the end users. So as soon as we get an agreement to place the movie on our platform, you get an access to, to, to the, all the technology that is behind it. Uh, in particular, for example, as soon as someone pays for your film on any territory that you allowed us to use for your movie, you get the payment directly into your crypto wallet. So, we so crypto wallet, so cryptocurrency wallet, I mean, basically the three uh, types of uh, cryptocurrency that are very popular are, of course, Bitcoin, Ethereum, yes. and Ripple, I believe, or, yeah, yeah okay. So no, there are various. There's, there's various ones. So when you, you say the words crypto wallet, maybe sometimes people don't understand what that means, but I, and, and, and if you could just bear with me here, because I'm, it's all new to me. So it, I, it, can I preserve, like, uh, let's say one day I want to have a theatrical release on my film. Can I preserve that in your platform and say, no, this is the only rights that I'm willing to sell to the world and uh, to have it accessible online, kind yeah. of like a Netflix thing. Absolutely, we we only have a non-exclusive TVOD rights, it's a transactional VOD that we, we get on our platform. So, so TVOD is separate from a Netflix, which is an SVOD model, exactly. which is streaming video on demand. Yes. So let's let's distinguish between TVOD, which is like it's transaction. TVOD is transactional okay. VOD, All right. is SVOD All is right. subscriptional so VOD. That, that's great. So, and you as the person who is, is the content creator, you also hold the license for all the rights for the yeah. for this thing. And in, in accordingly, what you were telling me, I believe you get to control which territories you can your yes, film can yes. go out to? So as soon as we place a movie on our platform, those rights that you have are registered on the blockchain and at any given time you can revoke the license on a, from any territory or from all the territories at any given time and we don't interfere with this so we cannot control it so we don't take control over your rights and you can you have full transparency of what's happening with your movie basically okay so tell us tell me three things that I absolutely must know about um, this new technology that's going to revolutionize the way independent filmmakers are going to create content and bring to you and tell me three things that are the drawbacks for it. So the currently the, th the three pros and the three cons 
for using this type of technology? Yeah, one thing that uh, might be uh, a drawback of this technology is that it's a new one and many people might not be comfortable using it out of the box. So, but we have a solution for this. Those companies or people who are not very comfortable to work with those uh, crypto wallets and, and cryptocurrency, uh, we uh, have uh, partnerships with the collector agencies that will provide an interface for you mm -hmm. and they will take care of these crypto wallets and exchanges for you so you don't have to go deeper into this world what if you are not comfortable. What about, uh, you know, I'm worried about somebody hacking into the system and, and stealing my movie because it's, you know, my God, once I put it online, I mean, can you explain the safety measures that are in place when I use your technology as opposed to something that you know, I'm doing when I go through another uh, another uh, type of yeah, streaming ba service. Basically, blockchain does not protect the actual content. There are other levels of protection and other like uh, technologies that protect the content. We use state-of-the-art uh, digital rights management and encryption to protect the content as soon as it flows. Uh, but what blockchain brings you is a protection of the payments. For which you. means, it, which I believe uh, you're telling me, according to what you're saying, is is it's immediate. So you'll yeah. seize the transaction, and the transactions verify through the blockchain through you know blocks of transactions yes. they they post and once it's posted yes. you see exactly who bought it where they bought it and how much money flows to you imme immediately right like you don't have to wait 16 yeah. 18 months or whatever no, no, to get no, your no. money through different channels exactly correct? It, All right. it just the time that it needs for this information to propagate through the network of computers that participate in this blockchain uh, network so as soon as it's propagated all the participants see the same information and this transaction is visible to everyone. Well, I think there's a lot more to be said about this technology and hopefully it's going to expand and, and really revolutionize the way new content creators out there are going to tackle the issue of not only rights management, but you know, the revenue down the stream for, for what they're realizing when they put their content on. Anyway, I want to thank you very much, Pavel. I think that was a very good explanation for, as, for an introductory level. And we're going to be back tomorrow uh, with a day five, but it's going to be a panel discussion. It's uh, navigating your way through an international co-production to the Royal Film Commission of Jordan. So tomorrow we will not have Cantastic. It will be a much larger presentation as part of a, an hour and 15 minute uh, uh, panel discussion. So join us tomorrow for day five. And thank you for joining us. Thank you, Pavel. Thank you.